the next type of fuse is cartridge type fuse so name itself cartridge type fuse so the cartridge fuse is like this so this is the one model and this is the another model so this is totally enclosed type fuse is observe here this is enclosing model so the previous fuses is not enclosing model it's a open model it is essentially consisting of an insulating container of bulb or tube shape and sealed at its ends with metallic cap look at here so initially inside it has the a tube look at here this is the tube this is the tube and these are the caps metal caps these are the metal caps this is the input and output terminals and inside we have the insulating material and and it consisting of a bulb look at here this is the bulb this is the bulb right and sealed at it ends with metallic caps look at here this is the metallic caps these are the metallic caps metallic caps uh, known as the cartridge enclosing these metallic caps is called the cartridge understand so these name itself this is called as cartridge type fuse cartridge type fuse cartridge cart c a r t r i cartridge cartridge type fuse okay enclosing the fuse element filled with the powder so this is a fuse element so it is filled with the completely a powder or granular material the another name of the powder is the granular material is known as filler so this inside we have a powder the another name is granular mate material granular material this is called as the filler the another name is the filler so we have a bulb here this is the fuse actually inside we have a powder this powder is acts as the insulating material and this is containing it this is containing a closed path and these are the metallic conductors so the inside view is like this understand right there are various types of materials used as filler like a sand filler may be it may be used as sand or calcium carbonate calcium carbonate can be used as quartz understand filler is we can used as gas and the calcium carbonate third is quartz these are the different types of fillers this type of fuse is available up to 66 volts and current rating is 800 800 amperes so it has a rating voltage rating up to 60 660 volts it can be used and the current rating is the 800 amperes right for this rating it is this fuse is applicable and the next fuse is so before the next fit just simple this fuse is uh, made with the cartridge type of enclosed material that's why this is called as cartridge fuse so in this fuse we have a bulb here this is a fuse and it is enclosed with a filler that filler may be the gas or calcium carbonate or the quartz and this rating is fuse rating is voltage rating is 660 volts and the current rating is 800 amperes right the next type of fuse is high rupturing capacity fuses this is the fourth type of fuse high rupturing capacity fuse so this construction is inside construction is like this this is the outside view outside view of the 
fuels. This is the less rating HRC. This is a medium rating. This is a high rating. The rating is increases automatically. The size of the HRC fuse also increased. With a very heavy generating capacities of the modern power stations, extremely heavy current would be flow into the fault. Generally, with the power station, generally power stations rating increases. Rating increases means the power rating increases. Power rating power is the combination of voltage and current. The voltage rating as well as the current rating increases. So if 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 it gets the faults, the automatically the fault current also increases. Fault current. Fault means whenever it gets some fault, automatically the current will be increases. And fuse clearing the fault would be required to withstand extremely high stresses in this process. So whenever in order to remove this fault current. Generally, high stresses are involved because high high current is there automatically. Whenever the circuit breaker is using that, then automatically the arcing will be get due to that arc high stress will be generates. Next point: HRC fuses developed and designed after intensive research for use in medium and high voltage installation. These HRC fuses are specially designed. For the medium and high voltage installation, this is not for low voltage. This is medium and high voltage installations. That means it is more than 3 kV. More than 3 kV, these fuses are applicable. The rupturing capacity is 500 MVA up to 66 kV and above also. So this rating is up to 500 MVA. That means 500 into 10 power 6. The rating is up to 500. M means 10 power 6. V volt amperes. This in this amount of power can be uh, up to this power we are using these fuses. And the voltage rating is 66 kV. To get the current rating, we will do the power rating by voltage. And like this, the rating is important. This is medium. That's why this is medium. These are basically two types of HRC fuses are used. One, cartridge type HRC fuse. Another, tetrachloride type HRC fuse. Two types. We already discussed cartridge type HRC fuse, and we have another that is tetrachloride type HRC fuse. So, about HRC fuses, only some points is there. the first point it is used for medium and high voltage the rating is 500 mva and 66 kv and this is specially designed for medium and high voltage and these are two types one is cartridge type and the uh, another one is the tetrachloride type tetrachloride type so look at the diagram here here this is the brass end cap This is the end cap, and this is the fusing element, and the filling powder. Filling powder. What is the purpose of filling powder? Insulation. There is no leakage in order to avoid the leakage, and this is the fusing element. Whenever high current is there, automatically it will be blown off, right? Why this this type of construction? Power rating increases automatically. The arcing will be increases to and in order to avoid the arcing. we are filling with the powder the powder is nothing but the insulating material which insulates the current okay it consisting this is the fusing element the, from this fusing element only the current will be flow like this whenever fuse is off it will be open then the smoke and arc all will be extinguished here right this is the brass end cap this is about the high rupturing capacity fuses the next semiconductor fuse this is the last fuse this is very fast acting fuses for act production of the thyristors and other electronic circuits simply this is used for the production of thyristors it is used for the only production of thyristors 
and remaining electronic circuit this is useful there is it doesn't have any much details so these are the types of fuses so in this class we discussed cartridge type fuse and fourth is hrc fuse the last one is semiconductor fuse and the next topic is switch fuse unit so we discuss about the different type of fuses but we have switch fuse unit in this switch fuse unit is combined unit is known as iron clad switch uh, simply it is iron clad switch it consisting of the iron switch being made of iron this switch is generally made with the iron it may be double pole for controlling the single phase two way circuits or triple pole for controlling the three phase three way system generally what is single phase system single phase system is consisting of the phase and neutral that's why double pole we require the double pole switch this like a double pole switch right it required two ways that's why it is the double pole switch this for phase and neutral and for controlling the three phase system three phase system means three phase system is like this generally three phase consisting of the r y b r a b c so we require three switches and one neutral is there it doesn't require any switch generally neutral so this is for r switch y switch p switch mm. for controlling the three phase three way circuit triple pole that's why two it consisting of the double pole it consisting of three it is it is called as the triple pole with neutral link for the controlling a three phase four way system that's why it is called as a three phase it has three phase but four wire it is single phase for two wire single phase for two wire right the respective switches are known as double pole iron clad switch so for the single phase we are using double pole means two wires iron clad means it it made with the iron and triple pore iron clad switch is there triple pore means it consisting of the three wires and made with the iron so that's why iron clad and triple pore with neutral link clad tp nic the another thing is there sometimes we can use the for neutral point also that is called as tp nic that is triple pole neutral link iron clad is the another switch so these are the switches very much useful in the when we are doing the experiment so in our bwl laboratory you will lively see these things that is dpic tpic tpnic these are the three switches for two wire dc circuits or single phase ac circuits we are using 240 volts 16 amps dpic switch dpic switch is uh, that's which we are using that is a double pole iron clad switch simply it consisting of the 240 volts and as well as the 16 amps next for three phase three wire dc circuit sometimes we consisting of the three wire dc circuits also available and the, in that case the voltage is we are using 500 volts and current is 32 amps the current rating may be increases that is 63 amps 100 amps 150 amps or higher amps more than the 150 also possible this is india standard approved tpic switch this is tpic switch for three wire dc circuits also we can use the tpic tpic means triple pole iron clad switch next we have a third thing that is for three phase balanced load circuits for three phase balanced load circuits means uh, load current is same in the all the phases in that case generally in the three phase system we are using the 415 volts and 32 amperes then the current rating may be increases that is same as three wire dc circuits that is 63 amps 100 amps 150 amps or 
higher amps more than 150 amps also available it is india standard approved tpic switch fuse tpic switch fuse right these are the different types of switch fuse unit and generally these units are useful to isolate the circuit from the load to the supply load to the supply understand for dc two wire we are using like this or single phase also dpic switch double pole uh, double pole iron clad and for three phase triple pole iron clad these are the tpic and dpic switch fuse units switch fuse units fuses are different from the switch fuse units okay so this is about the switch fuse unit thank you